hey guys welcome to my channel and thank you so much for watching what is good i am jade if you're new here so recently osnachi's husband mr peter wanchuku was paraded before the police ig usman kalibaba and the women are feminist of nigeria dame pauline talim after madame pauline talim paid a cut a visit to the ig office in abuja and during the visit, the Women Affairs Minister and the Police IG discussed a host of issues, including the plight of women in Nigeria with regards to gender-based DV. Just take a look at this video and I'll be back with the rest of my thoughts. The revelations revealed to me from the children, it coincides with most of what you've been reading on social media. Our heart is broken. Osinashi's death is one out of so many that we cannot let go. The police chief discloses that the investigation is advancing and expert advice is being sought from the National Hospital and the Minister of Justice in the case. Meanwhile, in all, all cases of uh, this nature, uh, there is an expert opinion which is required. And it is because of this that the police have approached the National Hospital where the corpse is deposited to conduct a post-mortem examination to get an expert opinion as to the cause of death. As soon as this opinion and is received at our end, we will finish our investigation and charge the suspect the court for possible prosecution. It is a matter that will impress the entire nation. It is a matter that will impress the government and therefore the office of the attorney general will also be involved in looking into our investigation for them to do the arraignment and possible prosecution. The presence of Mr. Peter Wanchuku, Usinachi's husband, who is being held for being allegedly responsible for his wife's death, triggered emotions from the deceased singer's family members. So you guys just saw that. So the lady you saw crying at the end of that video just now is Osnachi's twin sister, Amarachi Grace. You guys also saw her children, the children that she left behind, as well as her elder sister. Um, yeah, as you can see, they are all still grieving. The twin sister is inconsolable, as you can see. I just pray that the Almighty God comforts them. This is such, like you can just see the grief in their faces you can it's so raw and i'm pretty sure it didn't help to have mr peter wanchuku standing next to them looking like he's not sorry about anything either yeah so let me quickly say this right before i continue with the story because this is something that i have you know this is something that i have been seeing whenever i would post about this uh osinachi and peter wanchuku's situation i will oftentimes get comments from people basically highlighting how women are not the only ones that are currently experiencing dv that men do as well that um we should be balanced with this that we shouldn't focus, that the focus when we're trying to uh, bring awareness or attention to DV, that we shouldn't solely focus on women because men too are getting abused in the house, you know. And you are absolutely right. Men also experience DV at the hands of their spouses, lovers, intimate partners or whatever. It happens, you know, and it's wrong regardless of who's at the receiving end of it. I think it is absolutely wrong for one person to put their hands on another, you know, in a violent manner. Definitely not okay. Okay? But let's not act as if the majority of the people experiencing gender-based DV is not women. Let's not do that. That is very disingenuous to do that. Okay? Like, I understand men go through that too, but women bear the brunt of this. That is just the fact. You know, the percentage difference between a man and a woman in this situation is astronomically huge. So while I understand and I support the need to speak against DV in all forms, regardless of who is at the receiving end, I can't lose sight of the fact that women are still in the majority at the receiving end of this. So, yeah, I mean, we can't walk and chew gum at the same time. We can't address 
you know, that there is DV on both sides of the aisle. But please, 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 let's not push this false equivalency bullshit. It's not the same thing. Statistically, it's not the same thing. It's apples and egg. They're not even in the same food group when you look at it. So yeah, I understand that we need to address everything wholly, but the vast majority of the people at the receiving end of DV are women. That is the truth, statistically speaking. But anyway, the Women Affairs Minister, who, by the way, was accompanied by some of Osinachi's family members, also wanted to know what efforts the Nigerian police have made to ensure that justice is served in this case. For his part, the police IG stated that he understands the need for justice to be served in the situation and swiftly as well. And he said that the investigation is currently ongoing and that this case is a top priority for him and his department. He then revealed that he had approached the National Hospital in Abuja for a post-mortem examination on the disease to ascertain the cause of death and that if the autopsy result shows that Mr. Wanchuku was responsible, that Mr. Wanchuku would then be charged to court. Meanwhile, there are some celebrities who are basically echoing some of the sentiments that a lot of people have. You know, when you're in Nigeria and you have seen these things, this type of situation happen so many times, you can't help but be skeptical about how this is going to play out. So I get it. But on my own, I am choosing to be cautiously optimistic. I mean, this is Nigeria, right? I mean, they're already planting a seed that Osnachi had an underlining illness. Who knows how far that will fester? So that can be something that Mr. Wanchuku falls back on. It's very, very possible that he might actually work. Not be Nigeria be this. Not Nigeria now. What is it that I always say? What Nigeria cannot do does not exist. And it's true. At the end of the day, I just think that we should all just let the chip fall where they may. And let's see where this investigation takes. The Nigerian police seem to be actually doing something, at least on face value. Eh? I don't know what they do behind the scene. But from what I can see, it seems like they are actually putting in the effort. Because they know that there is a lot of interest in the story. There is a lot of people who want to see the outcome. And hopefully the outcome that comes from this story is basically what we expect. But if it doesn't work out that way, I guess... At least the only thing that we can take from this at that point is that this Osinachi situation has actually shined the light once again. It's not like we haven't had past incidents too, but this one was a major, major light that was shown on this situation so that, you know, and now churches are talking about it. Pastors who used to shy away from it, they are talking about it. I even saw a video of one church like that where the pastors made couples stand up husband and wife and they made the husbands apologize to the women and to their wives and beg for forgiveness so at least at the very least there are conversations being had regarding this this is no longer a matter that should be swept under the rug because pastors who are not talking about this they know there are reasons why they are not talking about it they know the same reason why they don't preach against committing adultery the same reason why they don't preach against against thou shalt not steal and thou shalt not do all this and that and the other they know the reason why because majority of the of the members who are culpable of this are the people basically the financial backbone of the church the people that are carrying the church financially so you know it will be in the pastor's worst interest so it will be in the pastor's worst interest to actually speak against something that a member of the church is doing when the member of the church is one of the financial backbone or the major financial backbone of the church so this is the reason why a lot of them do not speak about this you know so they sweep it under the rug they want to protect the top members right then the lower tier members are suffering do you understand so hopefully this momentum will continue and pastors will continue to highlight the importance of protecting your wife protecting your spouse 
you know, as a man, one of the things that God blessed men with is the ability to be patient, you know, just handle it. Like instead of putting your hands on your wife and she's done that thing that is so egregious, that thing that is so hurtful and so painful, just take a walk, take a walk, man, you know. So meanwhile, I read somewhere that Mr. Peter Wanchuku is threatening to take his own life. And I'm like, mm, what can I say about that? Okay, via con Dios, Godspeed, hellfire, just like the path that leads to it is very spacious, is very wide. So via con Dios, my guy. Anyways, this is where I'm going to end this. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Like this video if you like it. Subscribe to my channel. Thank you all so much. I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.